Mike Wagner with Ari, and we're here at NAB 2015 talking about a brand new product that we just introduced today, and that's the Sky Panel. The Sky Panel is an ultra bright, excellent color rendition soft light. And we're able to do uh, a lot of different things with it, including, uh, and including to having a full brightness control. We could have the color temperature change from 2800 all the way up to 10,000 degrees Kelvin. We're able to adjust the green magenta point, going, uh, adding magenta, adding green. And we could even go into uh, vivid color mode where we're able to adjust the hue and saturation of the LEDs. So if you find a color you like, you can actually adjust the saturation of that color as well. So uh, in addition uh, to that, we have a very large aperture, which gives, the, that's what helps with the, the a tremendous uh, soft light that we have coming out of here. We could also change out the panels from a standard diffusion to a heavy diffusion or even a light diffusion. And we have an intensifier as well that will increase the light output by about 30%. So it's a very versatile unit. Uh, on the back, we have all of the connectors and the control panel, just three simple knobs to adjust the uh, intensity, color temperature, and green magenta point, and hue and saturation. On the bottom is all of our connectors. So, of course, we have DMX5 pin in and through, a LAN connector for network connectivity, a USB-A for uh, having software updates, and on the right side here, we have our power inputs. So there's a 48-volt DC power input that comes from our power supply, and, and the Sky Panel S60 consumes roughly about 400 watts of power, but is able to give about 2,000 watt equivalent of tungsten soft light. We also have a battery input for industry standard batteries. This is a four pin XLR. They accept anything from 23 to 36 volt DC uh, and allows you to be extremely mobile. So the power supply is down here. So this is the, this is the S60C model, again, uh, fully uh, color tunable. We also have a remote phosphor version. So a remote phosphor version, you cannot adjust the color temperatures except for uh, switching out the panels. So we have different color temperature panels, uh, 2700 degrees, 32, 43, 56, and 6500 degrees. And in addition, we have a green panel. So you just swap these panels out and you get different color temperatures. The remote phosphor version is about 10% brighter than the C version and is also less expensive. And finally, we have the S30 version of the Sky Panel, which is about half the width of the S60 uh, and also half the power consumption. So that's about a 200 watt fixture. You get all of the same features, including full tunability, all of the connections on the bottom, and with that is also extremely battery powered so that you have really a mobile light fixture that you could basically take anywhere and use in almost any location. So that's the, that's the Sky Panel. Uh, we're starting to ship it uh, starting in September of this year. Uh, this, the S60C has a list price of uh, 6,200 US dollars. Uh, the RP version has a list price of 4,500 US dollars. The S30C has a list price of 4,500 US dollars, and the remote phosphor version of the S30 has a list price of 3,125 US dollars. Uh, the power supply comes with the fixture. It's a 400 watt capable power supply. Um, the great thing about the power supply is it, we, we made it external from the unit for several reasons. One of them being that we remove some of the weight from the head. The other reason it's easy to service the power supply if it should ever fail for whatever reason when it's externally, but also it gives you the opportunity to place the power supply and that extra weight wherever you want it. So if you want to place the power supply on the floor beneath the light stand, you could do that. We have attachments for the power supply. So if you want to uh, clamp it onto a light stand or onto a truss above the fixture, you could simply do that just by adding a super clamp attachment. We also have a rail attachment that, again, just screws right onto the back of the power supply. And what the rail attachment allows you to do is just slide the power supply onto the back of the fixture. So it kind of acts like a, like a backpack on the back of the fixture. So you could have it everything all in one piece. So we kind of give you the ability to use the power supply however you want it. You can even put it, you know, all of them together in one electric room or in the, e and, you know, in the rig somewhere all together. They're stackable. They're really easy to, to place almost anywhere.
they are extremely bright, as I mentioned, they're uh, brighter than a two kilowatt tungsten soft light. Uh, you can use them outdoors. Uh, the remote phosphor version would actually be great for that. Um, you know, they're not as bright as an HMI, of course. So I, it, it, you can, if you're close enough, compete with direct sunlight. But you'd probably be better like in a shadow situation. It'd be it'd be a great fill light in that in those kinds of conditions. Um, in terms of battery power, of course, it always depends on the size of the battery. So the S60C can run off a of battery mode, but because of the amount of wattage that it draws. Um, it actually had only could run at about 50% of its total output. And that's because of the limitation of the connectors that most industry standard batteries use. They have a current maximum of 10 amps. Um, and at that low voltage, uh, if you go 400 watts, it exceeds that. So uh, with the batteries that are out there, you could run this for, for about an hour or two. Um, if you have one of the bigger batteries, with the S30, you could run it for several hours at full output, so 100% output. You have all the same uh, features, the ability to, to tune the light and everything with battery mode. Um, and we could also have on the S30 the ability to slide on a battery mount that allows you to attach two V-mount batteries or two Anton Bauer batteries to get up to that 24 volts. So you could uh, run them in, in parallel and get the 24 volts and just have a little pigtail that goes right into the battery on the back. It's extremely robust. It has an aluminum core with two thermoplastic end caps. And what basically that means is that you could really abuse this thing and it will take quite a beating. Um, and already we've had a couple of uh, customers just kind of do a little bit of a test on it and they were very surprised how durable it truly is. So it is uh, up to the made in Germany standards that Aries had for uh, quite a while.